Let's learn about magnets. Where to start? Oh yes, cotton. That would be perfect. What else do we need, Professor Petrie? Well, this is just an ordinary cotton ball, and this is a paper clip. The cotton ball is not magnetic, but the paper clip may be. Let's find out what happens. As you can see, the paper clip moved up the jar. This movement is an example of the attractive property of magnets. A magnet attracts metallic materials. The paper clip is metal. Since the paper clip was metallic, it was attracted or pulled to the magnet. In order to further demonstrate this property, let's do another experiment. We can use a bar magnet and some metal bits. These tiny little things are just metal bits. If we remember the attractive property of magnets, these should be attracted to the magnet. Let's use the bar magnet to demonstrate. Just as we predicted, the metal bits are attracted to the bar magnet. Wow, I'm noticing something new. Do you see how the balls move towards the ends of the bar magnet? These are called poles. This tells us that the poles are the strongest part of the magnet. Not all magnets are equal in strength either. Thanks for helping out today, Professor Petrie. We did learn a lot about magnets. We know that they attract metal and that the poles are often where magnets highly attract. Always a pleasure, and I love learning about magnets. In fact, I have quite a few to help me put up my great ideas on the fridge. Can you think about ways that magnets help us in everyday life? We can use them to hang up metal objects, tools, and many other items. I encourage you to think about ways magnets can help us in everyday life.